Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love. This is going to be your Soulmate Twin Flame April reading. So we're just going to get the energy of what's going on. Always take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Whenever you listen to this, it's for the next four weeks time period energetically. Um, and let's just see what's going on. Let's just see what's going on. We're going to start with the Fairy Oracle. And we're just going to get the energy around the feminine in this situation and the masculine in this situation. And, and I place the feminine here, the masculine here. And the idea is what Spirit was telling me is have faith in the magic of love. That it's all being worked out. It's all being worked out. Okay. For the Divine Feminine, main energy during this time period for the next four weeks. Fairy spotting. Ooh, being out in nature. It's time to go fairy spotting. It's said seeing is believing, but in fact the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. Yeah, having faith in the unknown. Having faith that it's all going to work out. Having faith that love is coming into your life in all relationships and restoring this union and connecting with nature is a big deal. If you haven't listened to the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine April readings, please listen to both because first and foremost, they coincide with one another. And, it, and it's a lot about getting out in, in Earth and Mother Nature right now. So this is a time where er, er, Mother Earth is healing, you're healing, and there's a lot of messages and signs and synchronicities in nature. I'm not really sure like, why I'm having a hard time talking, but... <laughs> and for the masculine, I'm going to move these in the middle. Inner child. Oh, and we, and we talked about this. I'm telling you, talked about this in the divine feminine reading, the child. So it's all coming together. That I believe that's the way it works, you guys. Right? You start. We start getting all these similar messages in the collective, like the divine feminines are in balance. They're nurturing their inner child. They want these new beginnings. They're healing, and then the divine masculine doing the same, and and like these unions coming together. So the masculine in this union is nurturing the inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So maybe having some more fun times, being a little more free with their energies. And the bottom of the deck is divination. The underlying energy of this union that connects you is divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. And look, tarot cards look tarot cards out in nature burn away what's not serving you write what you want to release and let go of it and burn it away and allow the new to come in praying manifesting being in mother nature you see that connecting to the higher part of you nurturing the inner child you know using that imagination you know connecting to the fairies and the unicorns and the elementals and everything magical like it's just time for that it's time to go back to that age of innocence where everything was possible right everything and anything is possible i'm going to see if moving this helps at all i don't know i don't know if it's going to help hopefully you guys can see this really well perhaps if i maybe let a little sunlight in. I just feel like I want you to see the energy a little bit more of these cards. Let's see if this works. Adjusting our vision. Let's see if that makes it a little brighter right there. There we go. And I have been feeling in this time period, it's like just little adjustments, shift in perceptions, shifting the way that you're looking at things shining a little extra light in right like I just did on the situation nothing is by accident nothing is by accident okay it's that is the truth okay so we're gonna get some supporting energies with the destiny cards supporting energies for this union what, what are the universal energies that are supporting this union? And then we're going to break it down. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And these are both of my steampunk cards. So we'll be breaking down the energies there. Let me just move them a little bit. I really connect with steampunk. I do believe that I was you know, part of that era. And 
I like dressing like that. So something about steampunk may mean something gears, things moving forward, the wheel of destiny moving forward. Okay. The destiny of this union. What are the energies? Forgiveness, letting go, healing, releasing, forgiving yourself, living in a state of unconditional love. So there's forgiveness, forgiveness that's necessary, forgiveness coming, flexibility, being flexible through the changes, relying on your inner strength, knowing that it's part of the process, any changes, any contrasts, any challenges, you can make it through by letting go and forgiving and letting go of the past. Taking that leap of faith, yeah. That's this Aries energy, this new fresh energy, this new life, taking flight, seeing things from a bird's eye point of view, eagle eye point of view, spirit's point of view, gaining that perspective, just that shift in perception, ready to take the leap of faith, taking risks towards dream jobs, towards this union, towards moving, moving on, being flexible, and then look what you're moving towards. When you take that leap of faith, when you take that risk and go after your dreams, go after everything you've ever wanted, is you're going to have times to relax. It's also reminding you to take a little time out. Allow yourself to relax and heal. Enjoy your time alone if you have some time alone. I love, I'm always, you know, by myself quite often actually, but I enjoy my time alone. Just relaxing, reading a book, nurturing yourself. But there's more relaxing times coming in once you take this leap of faith and you let go and allow yourself to heal because you're manifesting new beginnings and peaceful times in this union. That's what's happening. Opening yourself up to the divine and your true connection with who you really are, the higher part of who you really are. Okay, so we're going to start with the masculine energy in this situation. We're going to start with the masculine energy here. What is the masculine in this twin flame soulmate divine partner union? What's going on with the inner world, the spiritual growth for the divine masculine? Inner world. Nine of wands here. And I apologize that it's a little dark. I do have the lights on, but you guys will be able to see. I have all faith in that. Okay. Let me get the masculine here. We got the nine of wands. The tower. Mm, yeah, things have to fall away, things have to end, things have to be cut away in order, you know, for these new beginnings. And temperance, look at how beautiful that is. And this is Twin Flame Soulmate Recognition card for me. Two of Cups, two people coming together, finding the peace, finding the balance, more relaxing, balance, peaceful times. So in the masculines inner world and spiritual growth, things are changing. They're getting the masculines are getting the epiphanies they need to move forward. What needs to be cleared away? What needs to be let go of? Codependencies, addictions, belief systems, relationships, all of that is falling away and they're finding the balance, connecting to the higher part of them, balancing the spirituality with the practicality of the physical life. So they're really growing spiritually, expanding Realizing how important it is to let go of certain things and find the balance within themselves. So that's what they're working on in their inner world. They're finding the balance and peace. That's beautiful. What about in the outer world influences? What's influencing the masculine at this time in this union? We have the page of pentacles, page of beetles. We have the five of cups. And we have the three of swords. Okay. So um, in the outer world for this masculine, they are experiencing, I feel like depression, some pain in the heart space, 
healing from that, um, maybe wallowing a little bit in that, trying to overcome that. That's what they're that's with the inner world when they find the balance when you find the balance and peace within masculines it shows in your outer world so in the outer world there's pain and there is regret but there's also this opportunity this page this opportunity for a new life this new beginning in the material world moving forward see that that's a masculine like i'm going to move towards my op new opportunity and i'm going to move away from this pain and regret of the past and see this feather spirit is guiding them like kind of pushing them forward towards this new opportunity in life could be a new job it could be moving on you know from a relationship an opportunity to be independent but there's some kind of uh, speaking of or they may even be making an offer to you to leave the past behind healed let's not live in this heartache and pain anymore I want to move forward towards this you know ace of Pentacles this new opportunity so the outer world, there's an opportunity that's being presented to the masculine during this time to help them move out of this energy and them feeling comfortable that they have something to offer as well as what I'm hearing. They're realizing, the masculine is realizing that they are good enough, that they're worthy, and that they have the power and control to let go of this energy and allow themselves to heal. They're realizing that now. It's part of that forgiveness. Forgiving the past, forgiving themselves. What about the divine feminine? In this situation, the feminine energy in the inner world. Look at that, Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, all the readings tie in. Listen to the divine feminine, divine masculine. April, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I know I'm going to keep saying that, but it's like the similar cards coming through. It's beautiful. So in the inner world, spiritual world, feeling good, like growing spiritually, new beginnings, expanding. Look at all that abundance on the wand. Like I'm ready to go after my creative projects, my dreams, like really feeling good in the inner world and spiritual growth. Yeah, getting that wheel turning, it's faded, it's destined, karmic blessings coming in for the feminine, leveling up, ascending, psychic gifts, intu intuition, em empathetic gifts, you know, really realizing who you are, growing spiritually, mediumship abilities, I'm hearing for some people just all of these beautiful gifts internally when we end cycles, end karmic cycles, it's a, such a blessing and that's what the feminine is realizing. And yeah page of cups so apologies this can be offers in love communication and love thinking about love filling the feminine's filling her own cup like you know just sort of balanced getting some peace with the emotions right coming into that balance like okay I'm filling my own cup right now so internally the feminine is feeling good filling their cup wanting to share the love moving towards destiny, ending karmic cycles so karmic blessings can come in and taking this opportunity, this ace of wands, for this new life and new beginnings and, um, and you know, love here. See, we get the page of pentacles over here, so an opportunity in the physical world for these new beginnings. That's, that's what I'm really feeling. In the feminine's um, outer world influence is what's going on. Yeah, completion, look, the world. Completion. Cycles over, moving into new cycles coming together with like-minded people divine feminine your ship is coming in so by you working your on yourself because you've been working on yourself and you continue letting go releasing healing taking these opportunities listening to your divine guidance and moving forward when prompted your ships are coming in it's going to manifest in the outer world because of all the work you've been doing see that's why i said whatever's going on internally is going to manifest externally so the feminine is ending cycles and moving into these brand new beautiful collaborations and beginnings. Yeah, finally choosing the cup. I feel like this is coming out of the illusion. That's the cup. Like I'm coming out of the illusion. I'm making a decision now. See how the smoke has cleared? It was used to be really cloudy and smoky, right? Rising up out of the clouds, out of the confusion. The divine feminine is like, I'm not confused anymore. I know what I want. And I'm picking this cup because that's the cup. I'm to finally deciding. The, the feminine finally deciding to end certain cycles and move on and move forward. That's what I'm feeling the strongest. Okay. Let's give it another shuffle here. For the masculine, what's going on in the headspace in, regard in regards to this divine sacred union with the feminine and in their heart space? So what's going on in their head and heart space, please? 
headspace for the masculine in regards to union. Look at that, nine of cups. Happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, emotional freedom, being with my sacred feminine, like the way I think about it is this is my wish fulfillment and I get to be free and be myself and I'm so excited. So this is emotional independence and freedom when they think of the feminine. And this union, it's a wish fulfillment. Yeah, uh, shift in perception, balance, spiritual growth. When the masculine thinks of the feminine, they just see the feminine as such a gorgeous body embodiment of divine light and love. Spiritual master. The ruins are a B and an M and an R. If those letters mean anything to you, they might. gaining uh, the feminine helps this masculine shift their perception towards love and wish fulfillment and look at that the three of pentacles coming together in the physical i want to collaborate with you when i think about this union i think about how abundant it is how how beautiful and spiritual it is and how loving and generous it is and i want to take this look at that i want to take this opportunity this is my offer i want to collaborate so the masculine is thinking about how can we collaborate in this material world and in their heart space, in their heart space, you know, a little bit toxic because I believe that they're still healing from this. So this is a five, this is, you know, toxicity, fighting, battling with the head and the heart. But let's get the next cards and see the devil. Yeah. Temptation, Tem temptation to Go back to the old way they used to do things, codependencies, addictions, devilish ways, uh, mind games, manipulation. So in their heart space, they're, you know, it's a little bit of an ego battle in their heart space for sure. Oh my God. And the seven of moths. <laughs> wow. The masculines in their heart space are really uh, having to face it in their head. They're balanced. And they're like, yeah, I get it. Like I know what I need to do, but they're in their heart space. Wow. There is some major clearing and letting go that needs to happen but what i also feel is through learning these spiritual lessons because sevens are spiritual lessons and always being in a battle with their ego with their head and their heart they're now realizing that these lower vibration energies the fears and all these things that are popping up for everybody right now are all part of them so what i always feel and you'll hear me say the seven of wands i always see leaving the battle so what i what the masculine is doing in this time period is leaving the battle like i'm leaving the battle of my head and my heart i'm really over working to overcome these things you know the tower's fallen i'm finding the balance i've had a lot of heartache and pain i've perhaps behaved in ways that i regret and i don't like but i'm changing all of that that's what i feel they're leaving this battle of the ego that's what i'm feeling right now for the most for the masculine and look at that they said look at the bottom yeah just to clarify that's what's happening they're bringing balance to the head and the heart there's justice being served in this masculine's life and because they're taking charge of it and they're cutting through the illusions and they're looking in the direction of sacred love and union instead of like this battle and the ego all the time so relying on the wisdom that they're gaining to push them through but there's justice and balance coming in and if they, if this masculine, your person, your twin flame, your soulmate is leaving a toxic situation, that's what they're doing. They're leaving the battle and they're moving on to, to more, a, a more balanced union. Okay. What about for the feminine? How does the feminine feel about the masculine in regards to this divine sacred union? In our head and our heart space. Divine feminines. Head and heart. Head space towards the divine masculine in this union. Judgment. Like it's time. It's like the feminine's like it's time to decide. What are you going to do? So there's decision time. The universe is like I'm going to hold you here in suspension until you make the decision. So the feminine's like no I've already decided remember. I've already decided. I'm picking this cup. This is what I want. So the feminine's made a decision. It's like, I've decided. 
Yeah, I'm moving towards balance and stability in the material world. I'm moving towards this twin flame sacred union. I'm finding the balance within myself or I've found it and I've made the decision. I'm moving out of the battle. I'm moving forward. I'm moving towards you, my sacred masculine. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm on the move. Yeah, I want it. I want to see. I see you being victorious coming out of this battle. See, this is the five of wands. This is the battle and the masculine holding up his staff, his sword, his wand saying, I'm done. I'm the winner. So the feminine is moving forward out of drama, out of gossip, out of toxic situations, making the decision to move towards these new beginnings and the collaboration with the masculine, seeing the masculine as being victorious, coming out of whatever this toxic energy is in this, this pain. In the feminine's heart space, yeah, feeling pretty good and powerful. Like, I know who I am. I know my worth. I am the mother effing empress. And I'm creating life. I'm creating my reality. And it's time for this sacred union. I'm ready, baby. Like, I'm just waiting for you. I'm ready to birth this new life. You see that? Like, feminine feeling really good and balanced in, 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 in their heart space. Yeah, page of wands thinking, are they going to come? Uh, you know, is this going to happen? Am I going to hear the message? I'm ready. I'm waiting for it. But, you know, is it happening? But all the while, the feminine's moving forward in her own life. Like, not waiting around, not holding her breath. I'm moving forward in, in the physical world. The feminine's moving forward towards her destiny, towards her dreams, creative projects, jobs, destiny, abundance. And just, you know, kind of like, um, yeah, I, I, I know what I'm going to say. So, just waiting for you to move, come forward. That's what I feel like. Yeah, balanced. Ready to receive and ready to give. Feeling very giving and generous and ready to receive this love. Like just sitting pretty. Like I'm ready. Bringing families together. Something of the past. Past blessings coming forward. Receiving a gift of inheritance or money. Like the feminine's like, and I got this. I, I have the balance. So the feminine is focusing on her own balance. And seeing the masculine as victorious and balanced. When you hold your masculine in that light, in that power, that emperor power, and see them that way as being successful and, and being very giving and generous and kind, that's the energy that they feel from you. That's helping them move out of the battle and find the balance because the feminine is already balanced. Like, I know how to give and I, and, I'm, and I know how to receive as well. So it's just the feminine kind of sitting pretty and like allowing the abundance and the love and the connection to come in, feeling very generous. Very generous. And the bottom of the deck is, for the feminine, is, yeah, making that decision, finally deciding, coming out of the stalemate, trusting her own intuition instead of what she sees around her, following the guidance of the divine feminine moon energy, trusting intuition and moving forward on the path of destiny. You see that? The path is being lit up. So choices and decisions being made. What are some energies that tie the union together? Possible manifestations for this union? Future manifestations during this time period? For the twin flame soulmate union? And I will say, feminines, that if something's holding up, you know, this hanged man suspension, it's this energy that the masculine is really working to, to heal. And it's been um, quite the battle. But I, I feel that balance is coming. They want to leave the battle. They're working to leave the battle. Manifestations of the union. Messages about the union. Destiny. Look at that. Destiny. This is destiny. This is fated. There, you get the wheel of destiny over here, and then what's manifesting is destiny. What's meant to be will be. The key is focusing on yourself, being living in the energy, the vibration of unconditional love, because it is a vibration. Living in that vibration and, and following that inspired direction forward from the divine, and it's you're, you're moving towards your destiny. This is destiny. This sacred union is destiny. It's fated. 
there a pause again seven of earth it's time for healing in this union during this time period it's time for both parties to heal there's healing coming within the union together being restored shedding old skin and look at what's interesting is what's really standing out to me very strongly is the first two chakras the root and, and sacral chakra for whatever reason so that's you know you feel that energy between the two of you even if you're not in the physical you can feel that good feeling creative expansive energy between you that's how you connect so connect with your person um, in the energetic realms within your med ed meditations allow yourself to heal and then you mirror one another so there's healing and there's abundance and there's growth coming in this union and look at this love wow pure divine sacred unconditional love in this union this is pure love this is divine love it's your destiny to experience this love where both parties put in effort and work on themselves and then in turn in the, for the union. And it's all, it's two very wise individuals coming together. There's a lot of wisdom to be gained within this union from your energetic connection, your spiritual connection, and then enjoying that in the physical. There's a lot of wisdom. It's following that inner light towards your destiny. So a lot of lessons being learned and wisdom gained because of this union and what you've had to go through. Yeah, the eight of wands, the eight of fire, like this is fast, mo there is mo movement forward, connecting telepathically, uh, communication going back and forth, very fiery, very passionate communication. Wow, look at that, you guys. What's, what's manifesting in this union is balance, stability, the sacred masculine and sacred feminine coming together, yin and yang, oh my lord. That's what's happening. I feel it. I know you guys feel it too. Other people feel it too. It's time for these unions. Masculine and feminine, full balance within yourself and sharing that with another. I mean, I, wow. And here is the five of cups. That's reminding you let go of the past don't wallow in the past there's no power in the past your prosperity and your abundance lies when you look up and you move forward so there's forward movement out of the past but you may find that during this time period in this reflection this pause focusing on love learning your lessons communicating telepathically that you might tap into some of this sadness and that's okay just ask what you can learn from it. Is there anything else? And then let it go. Yeah, be logical about it too. Don't be all caught up in the emotions and the, dra and the dramas of the past and all of that. It's just swimming in it. It's taking control. There's communication coming in in this union. Balance, stable communication. This is the masculine. Wow, you guys. This is spirit telling you that the masculine is coming into balance with their head and their heart. And we've been talking about it the whole time, finding that balance. That's what's happening. That's what's manifesting. And then communication. As soon as that balance comes, the communication comes in. And it's very fast. And oh my gosh, look at this. The queen of fire. Ooh, this is just beautiful, gorgeous, divine feminine energy coming through. Saying, yes, there's passion. There's, there's an incredible chemistry and sexual bond. But also it's very balanced spiritually and, you know, mentally, intellectually, and in the heart space. Like this is a very passionate, creative, balanced, stable, honest, authentic union. You see that? A beautiful blend. Yin and yang. What the masculine brings to the table is exactly what's perfect and right for the feminine to learn things about herself or himself and what the feminine brings to the table is so very attractive and beautiful and magical and spiritual that that helps the masculine tap into those energies within him or herself you see how that works how we mirror one another but there's a lot of, of creative energy that flows to highly intelligent people that take charge and make decisions and everything is coming into balance in the material world let go of the past move towards the future and live in the now 
because your power is in the now. And look at the bottom of the deck. This popped up in the Divine Masculine reading. So this is just confirming that the masculine is really opening up to love, opening up to the sacred union, opening up their heart space to the true, pure, divine, sacred love. You see that? Purifying their heart space, healing, opening up again. Look at that. There's a lot of passion. And there may be some regrets of the past, how I felt an apology somewhere here earlier, that it could be that finally the communication is going to come in where there's a deeper understanding. Like, like I, what I feel is all is going to be revealed and all is going to make sense. You're going to get clarity in, in epiphanies and the, the communication and the knowingness that you need to move forward. That's what's happening. And you're moving towards your destiny. Believe that and know that. Ending messages for this soulmate twin flame union for April right now with the romance angels. Any ending messages that are highest and best for who's ever listening to this? Yes. <laughs> this is your soulmate. Yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is a thousand times yes. You. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all because it's love. That's the answer. That's the truth. That's what's coming in. That's what's transforming. Be open to it and be receptive to it. It's the truth. Love is the truth. And look at this. It's happening very soon. So get ready to get ready. What do you have to do? What do we need to let go of? What do we need to detox from? Clean our house. Get rid of things. Open our heart again. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because it's happening. That's what the universe is saying. It's happening. Be playful to recapture romance and to attract romance to you. Allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. There we go back to the inner child and getting out in nature and having fun again. See, being playful, flirt. It's so fun to flirt. You should always flirt. And oh my gosh, you guys, come on now. See? Oh! Marriage, higher level of commitment, wedding, commitment. That's what's happening. It is. And the bottom of the deck, the key, release your ex, release the past. It's time to clear your energy now. Please reach out to me for an energy healing, clearing. We can do that in a reading, diving deep, giving you advice, diving deep into what's going on with you, what could possibly be going on with them, and what, where your power lies right now. But this is what's transforming, you guys. I mean, it's all over every reading. Wait till you listen to the other ones if you haven't. The Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I mean, the Divine Masculine reading, I mean, it's sacred union. I mean, no doubt that's what's coming together. So be playful. Nurture your inner child. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Make decisions that are best for you. You're manifesting this divine, sacred sexual union with your twin flame soulmate the person you are meant to be with in this life right now and it's happening very soon are you ready i'm here for you i love you all so very much the support you give me liking these videos helps them circulate subscribing commenting positive vibes donations whatever it is I appreciate you and I'm sending you so much love and light.